If you get a speeding ticket, you owe it to yourself to use Off the Record. Click the link in the description to find out more. How does an automaker make a car so perfect? The Porsche 911 Turbo S has always been the pinnacle of the luxury 911. Once Porsche realized that people wanted the ultimate performance from this car, they not only took it and made it one of the fastest cars you can buy on the market, but they made it such a luxury piece. This is a lifestyle car that has been such a buzzword around the industry and, and not only just the automotive industry but around the world i'll say and a lot of the uh the consumer industry i should say but the turbo s embodies a lifestyle so much more than so many other cars if you are truly a driving enthusiast if you're someone who wants a raw driving experience you don't get a turbo s you get a gt3 rs maybe a gt2 rs once that comes out in the 992 generation or you buy a 1990s miata what the Turbo S does is takes ultimate performance and distills it into such a fine package that truly the 1% the, the of the 1% find this car to be the perfect daily driver. You could take it on track, you could take it down the Autobahn, you could take it through downtown New York, Beverly Hills. It doesn't matter. This car is going to turn heads and it's going to fit in and sometimes that latter part is even more important. 640 horsepower, 590 pound-feet of torque from this 3.8 liter turbocharged flat six, mated to an excellent eight-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. Take a look around this inside, everyone. It's been so long since I've been in a car that is this premium. Every single knob, every single click and twist and, and push and action and, and material feels proper, it feels fit in, it looks perfectly executed. And yes, we're talking about a $200,000 car here, this one we're in, 226 grand, but not every car at this price point feels like the fine chiseled machine that this is. Still have your left side ignition fake key there because the real key is in my pocket, thank goodness for proxy key. This beautiful gauge cluster comes up to you, still with the five gauge layout, even though the right two are just screens. You can see if you scroll through here, you can get an entire map on the right side. And this excellent infotainment system as well. If you do want to see a review of this and the 13 speaker Burmester audio system, check the link in the description. We've got a dedicated review on that. But this resolution, this responsiveness, the layout, ooh. A little sneak peek to one of our songs there. It's excellent. It really is. is not active. Hush. Let's fire it up. There's your difference between the new sport exhaust and your standard exhaust. Certainly more growly. Everything from the feel of the steering wheel, it's thin, it feels nice, the leather is good, it's tight, right off center, there's, there's no play in the steering, any slight motion is translating to the car. Turn it up into Sport Plus here. And then the weight of the steering is excellent.
cars have a connection, a very clear line between my inputs, my feet, my hands, and my body, and then what the car is doing on the road. And Porsches have always done the best job at that. The thing is, is there's so often with other Porsches that you have to make the excuse, if you will, of, oh yeah, it's not as fast as a Corvette, but it drives better. Or, oh yeah, it costs a lot more than the Mustang or name your other competitor, but trust me, it's worth it because it drives so much better. The feel is there. The Turbo S gets rid of all of that. The Turbo S is like, we're faster than just about everything else you can get. We drive better than just about everything you can get. And it really doesn't cost all that much more than others in this class. When you start talking six-figure exotics, two, three hundred thousand dollars, you're talking Lamborghinis, Ferraris, McLarens. And Porsche still shows up, eats their lunch and performance and driving feel, and starts around two hundred thousand dollars. What more could you really want in this market? Well, maybe Android Auto, but in order to do that, just wait a year, Porsche's coming out with it for 2022. When you want brutal shifts, you get brutal shifts. When you want smooth shifts, you get smooth shifts. The car is essentially telepathic. If I had any nitpick on the powertrain, it would simply be that, well, I was gonna nitpick right there about chip patterns, or plus, but then all of a sudden it, it downshifted for me exactly when I wanted. So actually, when you are driving aggressive, <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to complain. I'm trying to ground the car and 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 come up with, oh uh, well, you know, once you really dig into it, this isn't actually all that good. But it's really difficult <laughs> to do that because even if you're not 100 percent satisfied with the way it shifts in any drive mode. You got manual mode. And then you do it all on your own, exactly how you want it to shift. Excellent paddle shifters on the back. If you're gonna complain about anything, it's not actually the car you have to complain about, it's the landscape of performance exotic vehicles at this point, and the fact that to really exploit them, you're doing just crazy illegal speeds. I mean, just breathing on this, the fact that you're getting zero to 60 around 2.5 seconds, you're getting quarter miles in 10 seconds, you're going so, so fast that when you're just doing normal speeds, cruising through this road about uh, 15 miles per hour over the speed limit or so, and it's nothing for this car, it really isn't. Take this opportunity to do a quick launch and demonstrate that zero to 60 time for you. Very easy to launch, simply put your foot down. into their mansion. It would look proper next to their private jet. Their Rolex would look perfectly placed right on the steering wheel. That's not me. That's not who I am. I don't know if I ever would be. But gosh, do I feel like I'm getting a taste of that life when I get behind the wheel of this car. Even if I just dial it back to normal mode, put it back into automatic, let it upshift, 
calm down a little, turn the exhaust quiet, suspension soft. The car still feels better than me. But but it's nice about it. It's like, yeah, come on. I'll uh I'll show you some of the finer things in life. It makes me think of my buddy Ken, who first showed me uh, an airport lounge, the Delta Sky Club lounge. And I was like, wow, this is uh this is a whole world I didn't even know about. And he was like, yeah pretty great, isn't it? I was like, yeah, it is. That's the experience of driving a 911 Turbo S, especially this 992. It's, you could have this too. You could work hard. You could, you could develop the means and purchase this vehicle. And, and by doing that, be welcomed into a, a club, into a life that is a cut above everything else. There is no exact car like a Turbo S 911. And it makes that so clear just by driving it. exquisite whiskey or a night at an incredibly fancy hotel, the 911 Turbo S gives you the taste for that better lifestyle. And you never quite forget that first taste. It's an absolutely excellent car. And if you'll excuse me, I have some stock portfolios to check. Mm -hmm.